Trapped by a muddy torrent, inch by inch the rising tide forcing its way inside the shop in the township of Mba. Outside a river running through the streets. And runabouts pressed into service as a thousand people are evacuated to safety. Category 1 Cyclone Josie brought devastating rain to the main island of Viti Levu, leaving several towns underwater in the northwestern districts. More than 70 roads closed and emergency services warned Fijians to stay off them. Four people are confirmed dead. This father and daughter swept away at a bridge in Nandi. The grieving family left to pick up the pieces. One young man is still missing. But there have been rescues too, police plucking this elderly man from his flooded home on the northern coast and villagers banding together to retrieve precious vehicles. Cyclone Josie is now south of Viti Levu and expected to move out to sea. Floodwaters are receding and roads are reopening, but the damage is widespread, with authorities struggling to restore power and water supply. Yvonne Tahana, One News.
Meu, meu Deus do céu! Tem carro coberto de água aqui. Por isso que eu perguntei onde você está. Pura água. Dá uma corredura. A rua 87 no setor sul estava completamente alagada e neste carro estavam mãe e um filho. Eles foram resgatados pelo corpo de bombeiros. Também na rua 87, essa van ficou no meio da enxurrada e o trânsito no local parou. Na avenida Cora Coralina, também no setor sul, carros estacionados ficaram com água praticamente pela metade. Na Avenida T1, no setor Bueno, o trânsito ficou lento por causa de uma árvore derrubada pela chuva. spring snowstorm that is hitting right now. It is a messy commute for millions in the Northeast. You're looking live at the roads on the New Jersey Turnpike. Let's go to Rob Marciano, who's uh, starting us off right here in a snowy Times Square. <laughs> Rob, good morning to you, Brave in the Elements. Can you believe it, Paul? I mean, hello, April. Another snowstorm. Here we go. It is snowing hard enough to accumulate in some spots. Not so much here, but the pavement is still warm in certainly the urban areas. But you go just north of here in the Bronx, where it's opening day for Yankee Stadium. And we're talking about snow that is piling up on the secondary roadways there. So uh, some of the highways are certainly going to be slick for the morning commute. Uh, and you see that pulse of snow just north of Philly, up I-95, towards Bridgeport, Connecticut, getting now into Providence, Rhode Island, anywhere from two to five inches, falling in a very short amount of time. So that is heavy enough and quick enough for it to begin to accumulate and make the morning commute a mess. It already made a mess out of the Midwest for the Easter holiday. Check it out. Easter whiteouts and springtime snowstorms making for wicked driving conditions. Cars spitting out of control in Missouri, Kansas, and Nebraska. This time of year, we're pretty much sick of it. It's Mother Nature's April Fool's to us. As back to back winter blasts slam millions from the Midwest to the East Coast. Hundreds of accidents littering roadways over the weekend. This multi car pileup in Wyoming shutting down the interstate for hours early Sunday as authorities work to clear the wreckage. Slow down, you're not going to be able to stop very fast. You're going to slide for sure. And it's not over yet. It's probably just going to continue to get worse and worse. The storm pushing east with up to a half a foot of snow expected this on April 2nd. I was really excited for spring. I had hope. Patience, patience. Remember, February was unusually warm for a lot of folks, so we're paying the price a little bit. Here we go. Let's time it out. Again, it should be out of the area, the northeast, by lunchtime for the most part, but dropping anywhere from two to five inches of snow. The strong April sun will help melt that after the fact, but certainly a messy commute. And, uh, guys, we've got more cold air coming down the pipe mm. through the rest of the week, so it's not quite over, even though it's April 2nd.